Hi guys, Solid Ball Gamer here again. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of one of my favourite deck building games. This is Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. In Hogwarts Battle you choose two of four possible heroes. You can choose Harry, Hermione, Neville or Ron Weasley. You endeavour to defeat a series of villains and evil threats in the form of these Dark Arts cards. All the time trying to fend off the villains from gaining control of the locations in the game. The game comes with seven adventures with increasing difficulty and eventually the chance to defeat he who must not be named once and for all. If you manage to defeat all the villains before they gain control of the locations you can win the game. Uh, however, you lose the game if they do gain control. As part of setup, I've chosen my two characters. I've chosen Harry and Hermione. Hermione is going to be my first player. Both characters come with a player board each and this is their health tracker. Each hero also comes with a basic deck of 10 cards. Uh, you'll use these to purchase cards from the market and to also deal damage to the villains. Obviously by adding better cards from the market to your hand, gradually you'll be able to do more things and inflict more damage. These cards here in the top left, these are the location cards. These are what you're trying to prevent the villains from gaining control of. Um, they would gain control by adding these skull icons to the bottom row here on the card. Uh, there's only two locations within this first game, game one. Um, obviously if they gain control of both of these cards, that's the, uh, that's the loss for us. These cards here are the Dark Arts cards. You flip these, the uh, flip a card at the start of every turn and this deals some kind of ill effect to either character or both. These cards here are the Villain cards. Uh, in this game one we, we tackle these individually. Um, in subsequent games as the game gets harder you're sometimes fighting against two or three. This over here is the market on the right hand side here. There's always six cards on offer. As soon as you purchase a card you replace it with one from the top of the deck. There are three different types of cards, if you notice. There's spells, there's items, and there's allies. Normally, purchase cards get added to your discard pile, but there are some spells in here that allow you to add it to the top of your deck, so you gain access to it immediately. And finally, we have some tokens. These are the damage tokens, which you inflict on the villains. And these final ones, these are the influence tokens. This is the currency in the, in the game. Obviously, you gain, uh, gain influence from your cards, and that allows you to purchase uh, better spells, better items, better allies from the market. Right, I think I've covered everything. I'll just have a quick clean up and then we'll crack on. So we're all ready to go. As I said in setup, uh, Hermione's going to be my starting player. We will deal out five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And starting hand. And next we flip over the first Dark Arts card. So this is an event, Flipendo. Active hero loses one and discards a card. Okay, so Hermione is the active hero, so she goes down to nine immediately. Next we flip over the villain card, and we have Quirinus Quirrell. His active ability is that the active hero loses one health at the start of every round, so that's another one gone. Um, should we inflict six damage on Quirinus, we will defeat him, and our reward is that all heroes will gain one influence and one health. So the next thing we've got to do is we've got to discard a card, as, as the Dark Arts card has told us to do. So what have we got? So I will discard one of the simple spells. This is Alohomora. I'll get rid of that one. That just gives you one influence. So we have Time Turner. This one gains one influence, and if you buy a spell, you can put it on top of your deck. Uh, this is uh, Hamani's ally. This is Crookshanks, the cat. Um, if you, you can choose between uh, one attack or gaining two health. And this other one is uh, the Tales of the Beadle of the Bard. So you can choose one. You can gain two influence yourself, or, or, or both heroes can gain one influence each. So first things first, I will use Crookshanks to deal some damage. Um, and this is all currency now. So we've got one, two, and we'll say four. Um, I will take Hagrid. So they get scooped up and put in the discard pile. And we add another card into the market because we've taken one from there. And now it's Harry's turn. Next we do a Dark Arts card to start the round. And we have another event, this is Petrification. All heroes lose one health and they cannot draw any extra cards this turn. Okay, so 
we're leaking health already. And also the active hero loses one as well. So Harry gets dealt one, two, three, four, five. And we've got Harry's ally as well. And we've got a few things going on here. So the invisibility cloak, uh, not only does it gain you influence, but it means that you can only gain um, one damage from either a dark arts card or a villain, uh, which we have done. Um, Hedwick, you can choose one, you can deal one damage or gain two health. Firebolt is gain one damage, and if you defeat that villain with that one damage, you also gain an influence. And these are just the basic spell to gain influence down the bottom here. So we'll use the two cards here for damage because I'd like to get rid of him as quickly as possible because he's doing damage every time. Um, and the rest of it I shall use for influence, so that gives me three. So with that I will take a Quidditch gear. This gives me one attack and one health, that's always a nice card to have. And it's replaced with another Essence of Dittany. Let's scoop these up. We go into the discard pile. And we're back to Hamani. So first things first, we'll deal Hamani five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll flip over the very next Dark Arts card, which is an Expulso. Ouch, active hero loses two health. One, two, that's not good. And from this one, another one. So Hamani needs to uh, heal up desperately. So what have we got? Oh, all money, not good. So, only good thing about it is we will pick this one, which is a good card, uh, Descendo. It gains two attack for five. So immediately replace that with Incendio. Uh, so we'll scoop all those up, and that's a quick and simple go. Back to Harry. So Harry deals out five. One, two, three, four, five. And Dark Arts card yet again. And this is He Who Must Not Be Named. So this is the first time we're going to add one of these skull tokens to a location. So they're quarter of the way through. Um, nothing else happens from here. This is uh, taking damage. Giving damage rather. Let's have a look at the cards for Harry. So well, it's the same as Hermani. So it's five. So what should we do? I think he'll take that one as well. Let's replace that with Reparo. Reparo. I'm going to get scooped up and put in. So we're back to Hermani. Now this is the first time that we're going to shuffle. So hopefully some of those nice cards will come back in. Hopefully something to heal. So one, two, three, four, five. Next Dark Arts card, and we have an event. The active hero loses one and then discards a card, and one here as well. So we're really getting close to getting stunned. I'll explain what happens when you get stunned in a second, if that happens. Um, so we've got to discard a card. So we've got a few bits and bobs. I'll discard one of the basic spells. And then, so all heroes can gain one. And this is going to, so I think we're going to have to do that. So I'm going to use Hagrid to buff up all heroes. Shall I do that or just fight? No, I shall use Crookshanks to gain two health. I shall use Hagrid to apply another damage. And then these ones, this is the time turner one again. This is a, if I gain a spell. I can put it on top of my deck, but I've only got two, so I'm not going to gain much apart from, I could do Wingardium Leviosa, um, but I will do the Essence of Dittany instead. So that's always good to have a bit of backup as far as health is concerned. So that goes into the discard pile. I forgot where I was going to put it there for a minute, and now we're back to Harry. So it's now Harry's turn to shuffle. One, two, three, four, five. Next Dark Arts. Oh, it's another one of these. You must not be named. So they're plodding along. You need to do something. So, and this one is damage going to Harry. 
So we've got the invisibility cloak again. We have Hedwick, Firebolt, and two spells. So this could be good news. So we're going to use Hedwick to apply one damage, and we're going to use Firebolt to put one damage. That makes six, which is what we need. Um, and it also says on Firebolt, if you defeat a villain with villain with that one, you gain one influence as well. So we'll stick that on his board. Um, and then that gives us one, two, three, four. I needed to replace that, which I didn't. Oh, there we go, Dumbledore. Um, so I'm going to take Incendio, I think. So we'll do that. So that's all the cards we've used. Discard pile. So we defeated Quirinus. Um, as part of the um, as our reward, all heroes gain one. So Harry spent that one. But we will gain another. Um, and Tamani gains one as well. And we also gain one health each. That's good, so that's discarded now. And we'll flip over the new hero, sorry, the new villain. And this is Crab and Goyle. So each time a dark arts event or villain causes a hero to discard a card, that hero loses one health. Okay, so probably not as punishing. Only five to defeat. And as a reward, all heroes will draw a card if we do defeat. So let's get rid of all this damage, because they're back to zero. Now over to Hermione for her turn. So we'll deal five cards. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Turn over the Dark Arts card. And this is an Expulso. The active hero loses two health. Ouch. Uh, nothing happens here. And we have got... Oh, basic cards again. Terrible. So it gives us one, two, three, four, five, six to spend. We'll take a Reparo. We'll take an Essence of Dittany again. So I've replaced it with the Golden Snitch and Incendio. That wasn't really what we wanted. We wanted some health really, didn't we? So back to Harry. One, two, three, four, five. Next card is, oh, he must be not named again. So we add another one of those. Getting close to losing that location. Uh, nothing happens here. So what have we got? Okay, we're gonna do a bit here. So, with Descendo, we're going to inflict two damage. With Quidditch gear, we're going to inflict one damage and gain one health. It'd be nice if I could give that over. And these are just three of the influence. So for three, I will take another Essence of Dittany, I think. And that's replaced with the Sorting Hat. So we did something, it's a bit better. Back to Hermione, she's got two cards. So let's have a quick shuffle. Next one. And we've got Petrification. All heroes lose one and they cannot draw any extra cards this turn. So, oh, Harry had an extra influence, didn't he? Oh, missed it now. I'll use it for a next time. So we've got, so what's this? Cannot draw any extra cards. So this is discard a card, so that's nothing to worry about. So we've got a few things here. So Descendo is to gain two attack. And that's excellent, because that's going to defeat um, Crab and Goyle. My problem is, so we can't draw any extra cards, so as a reward is to draw extra cards, so we can't do that. But they're gone anyway, so we'll do that. So we've got any one hero gains two health, so she's going to use it on herself. And then we've got one, two, three, four, 
five to spend. So Hermione's going to take the golden snitch and spend that. And we'll scoop up. That's a bit better. So all those get cleared because we defeated. We need to add another card to the market, which we forgot. And we're down to our final villain, and that is Draco, Draco Malfoy. Uh, each time one of these skull icons is added to the location, an active hero loses two health. As a reward, we can remove one from a location. Okay, so that's not really going to help us, because if we defeat this villain, then we've won already. So back to Harry. Um, Harry will deal five cards. One, two, three. So I'll turn over this last Dark Arts card. We're going to shuffle after this. So this is Expulso. So the active hero loses two. So we're both getting low. Um, and this doesn't come in. So with our five cards. Okay, I must remember to use this because I forgot that last time. So... Um, we're going to add some damage with Firebolt, just the one. Um, that's getting there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five to spend. And I will use that to... What shall I take? I shall take Incendio, I think. And replace with Incendio. So... Let's get rid of that. So I should have done before. Back to Hermani. So we need to shuffle these first. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Let's move these down where they're supposed to be. And flip that over. So the active hero loses two, one, two. Okay, so nothing happens as far as the uh, villain's abilities. So what have we got? I've got a few things. So any hero gains two health. That came at the right time, didn't it? Um, shall I apply damage? Yeah, I think so. So let's use both to those cards, Crookshanks and Hagrid to apply damage. So we're halfway through and then that just leaves us the two coin um, and with that I will get a Wingardium Leviosa and it's replaced with an ally which is Oliver Wood. So let's pull all these back. It goes into her discard pile and back to Harry. So we'll deal Harry, one, two, three, four, five cards, and have a look at this star cards. And we've got petrification again, so all heroes lose one and they cannot draw any extra cards this time. So all getting a bit low. Um, what have we got? Oh, don't tell me all of those. So we've got an incendio, so I've got something. So we can't draw any extra cards, so again that's been cancelled out, but we can apply one damage. And for four, I will pick, I'll pick Incendio again. So it's always good to have some damage. We're getting a little low on health, both of us. So back to Armani, see if she can last this. One, two, three, four, five. I need to replace that. There's another Wingardium. Um, we then do the Dark Arts card. Uh, so he who must not be named. So we're going to add our fourth and final icon to this location. So we've been defeated there. So let's hope we can keep control of this one. So let's go. So so that's each time a each time a, a skull is added to location, active hero loses two. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Oh, not the time for these terrible cards. We needed health. Okay, so six, 
We'll take, what will we take? We'll take Oliver and we'll take that. Okay, Quidditch gear. So that goes back to her pile and back to Harry. One, two, three, four. Quick shuffle. We could do with two damage to get rid of Draco, so that's that. So we turn over the next card. So active hero loses one and discards a card. So we've got head. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think we've done this. This is excellent. Lovely. So we'll use Hedwick to gain two health. Two. Um, we'll use any hero to gain two health. So we'll just bump up Hermione. We will use Quidditch gear to apply one damage and one health. And then finally, the coup de gras. We will add two damage and that will defeat Draco. So there's no need to gain this reward um, because we've already managed to defeat all of the villains um, before they had time to gain control of the locations. So that's a win for us, that's a win for the good guys. So just to sum up, I adore this game. Uh, I play this game quite often with my son. He's only young and he manages to grasp it. Um, the first two adventures are if you are new to deck building games. Um, so just to get you into it and just to learn the ropes. And I suggest if you play deck building games before, then probably start at uh, adventure number three. Every adventure pack you open adds new cards in the market. Um, you also add new dark arts cards and new locations. Um, your characters grow, they get abilities that are added to the bottom of their card. There's some dice that are added that you can roll and use in the game. Everything gets ramped up and increasingly more difficult. There's instead of turning over one Dark Arts card um, per round, you turn over two. Instead of fighting one villain at a time, you fight two, sometimes three. Um, so yeah, gradually it ramps up and becomes an excellent game for even the most experienced of deck building players. As you can gather from my enthusiasm, I absolutely love this game. Thanks very much for staying to the end. If you can do me a favor and give me a like and a subscribe, that would be great. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you very soon for the next adventure. Bye now.